tips and tutorials to increase your online presence. Websites, social media, online donations, applications, databases, and more. This is OrgSpring. In this video, we're going to discuss creating cash orders in the e-commerce system. And in this particular case, we are going to be doing an order that is attached to an event. So if you have an e-commerce system installed where you're allowed to charge for events, we're using the events calendar uh, with WooCommerce and WooTickets here in particular, uh, you'll be able to do this. So uh, normally what someone does is they go on the event itself and they come down here and they just click add to cart and then they check out using their credit card or PayPal. But some people may show up at your office or your location or want to do a cash transaction. Really it's the same with any transaction whether we're dealing with events or any kind of e-commerce item because it ends up going into a cart. So in this particular case we will just add one here and we'll click add to cart and that's going to add this item to the cart. Now, this is the easiest way to do this. If somebody comes in and they're right there, uh, you're obviously gonna wanna get their information, but more importantly, if you have an extra computer or an iPad or even an iPhone, and there's something that you can use to check them out right there and then, or you're just doing it on your main office computer um, at your location, you can do this with them right in front of you. So you would go to proceed to checkout, and then once at checkout, you'll have the ability to add all their information in. So you'll see here mine is pre-filled since I'm already logged in. But if you were adding them right there in person, you would add all their information in. You would get their email and you would choose the option that you have installed as your payment gateways. In this case, we'll just go down here and leave it on credit card and we will place the order. Now once that's done and processed, you'll be taken to the order screen. It will give you the order information, the date, the total, the payment method, and then you'll have some of the order details in a table format here. And then the customer details will be here. So of course, you're going to want to get those customer details for the person when you're filling this out. Now, the beauty of doing this is twofold. One, you've done it for them and you know the transaction's gone through. And two, it automatically creates an account for them. Now, if you have your e-commerce system set up so that they don't need to create an account or add their information, they could, of course, check out as a guest. But in this case, we've captured their information, it's created an account for them, and it will email them at their email address information regarding that order. In the in case of an event, it will actually email them a ticket to that event as well. So that's the easiest way to do it right on the front end of your site. If they're in there in person, you could do it almost as if you were them using their information. Now we're going to discuss the second way to do it, which would be through the cash order system in the back end of the website. The other way to add a manual transaction is to do so in the back end of the website. In the e-commerce system, you will have a menu that says something on the order of e-commerce or something like it. When you click on that, it brings you directly to the order screen and it shows all the orders in your system and the date that they were made. So it's listed in chronological order with the most recent first. And of course, you can change that based on order or based on date or the total and other actions. So you'll notice that the order we put in is listed right here. This was the most recent order we did on the front end of the site. Now, if you want to do a manual order here, there are some downsides. You can come here and just click add order and this will bring us to the add order screen. One of the downsides is, and we've integrated this with the Stripe gateway, which is a, a great gateway, very easy to use, very low fees, relatively speaking, for taking credit card transactions online. The downside is we can't do the credit card charge with the manual order on the back end of the website. It could only be a straight cash transaction. So if the person shows up and gives you the credit card information, then you're going to want to do it through the front end. If the person shows up and doesn't and maybe just wants to pay you in cash, this is a real easy way to do it. Of course, you could still do cash through the front end of the website if that's an option or if you've made that an option in terms of your payment gateway, it's likely that you haven't. So if the person shows up and wants to do it in cash, you'll just come right to the back end, e-commerce orders, go to add new order, and then you're right here. Now, you will see that the order date is always going to be input with the current date and time. 
and it will be put in terms of a pending payment status. If they're giving you cash, you could click there and just change that to completed. If the customer already exists, if there's someone who's checked out or is a customer on your site, you could click here and try to find their name. For example, I could click Craig and it'll find me there. If it's someone who hasn't yet and you want to add their information, you would first add them as a customer or you could just check them out as a guest. The benefit of adding them as a customer is that they'll get a copy of their invoice and they'll have an account in the system. If you do it as a guest, they obviously won't be emailed a receipt or a copy of the invoice and they won't have an account in the system. So once that's been done, you come down here and you click add line item. And then we're going to click add product. And then we have the ability to search for a product there. So we're going to search for Claus. That's the same thing we checked out with before. And we'll just click add. And you'll see that that gets added with the correct price. No shipping. And then you'll see here. We will save this. And we're going to now click calculate total. And what that will do is calculate the total based on the price which was added. So $3 calculates down through and we're all set. You can also add a note here in the system, something on the order of this was a cash payment in the store. And you'll just click that as a private note so it stays just with your administrators. And we'll click OK. And then you can save this order. And once that's done, it's saved, everything is completed there, and we can go back to the overall order screen. And you'll notice we now have two transactions. The first, which was completed with a credit card, and the second, which was completed with cash. There's no billing address or any of that other information attached. And you'll notice here they're both completed. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out our next video where we're going to show you how to do manual refunds of some of the orders we just added. We're going to tie that directly in with a payment gateway running credit cards and the manual refund in the back end right on your website will automatically refund that credit card directly in the system. So it's a really great feature. We're going to show you how to do it in our next video. Check it out.